How's it going everyone? My name is Jake with TradeConfident.io. In this video, we're gonna be going over Litecoin. The halving event is coming up tomorrow. You can see right here with this yellow line. In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm expecting as we move forward, as this halving event happens, and what Litecoin seems to have in its near future. Now, I just wanna preface this by saying nothing is guaranteed in the crypto market. While we are using historical evidence, history does not guarantee future results, so I want everyone to keep that in mind moving forward. We are currently in uncharted territory for Litecoin, but with that, let's dive in. Let's see what we're taking a look at. First, I want to show you the Litecoin halving countdown. We have about 20 hours and 45 minutes before the halving event actually happens. Now, I can already hear you asking, what is the Litecoin halving event even in the first place? What does it mean to me as a trader? Well, let me show you. Block halving events happen every four years on the Litecoin blockchain. Litecoin's initial block reward was 50 Litecoin. The block's reward split every four years. This lowers the rate at which Litecoins are generated. The halving is periodical and is programmed into Litecoin's code. Current Litecoin block reward is 12.5 Litecoin, and after the halving, the block reward will be only 6.25 Litecoin. Interestingly, halving will end approximately by the year 2142. Essentially what this means is after the Litecoin event here, the supply of Litecoin is going to drop, or at least the rate at which supply is created. This means that Litecoin will be harder to come by, and by the laws of supply and demand, we actually should see the prices of Litecoin increase. However, this is not guaranteed, but what I can tell you is we are very, very likely to see some pretty significant volatility in the market. That is exactly what I'm expecting but from historical data i'm going to show you that really quickly it's honestly kind of a toss-up which direction litecoin's really going to head i'm going to switch you over to the one week time frame here we're going to scroll out i'm going to remove these two indicators as well you can see right here this was the very first having event this was the second and this is the third one upcoming the first event happened on august 25th 2015 i know it says 24 right here it was actually the 25th it just kind of messes up the dates when you change time frames sometimes the second one was on August 5th, 2019, and it'll actually be August 2nd here, 2023. Now here's the pattern that we're seeing. Right before the halving event, we see a pretty significant move up. Right here, significant move up right before the halving event. This is not quite as significant, but there is a general upwards trend right before the pump. After the first halving event, we ended up moving pretty much sideways until about 20, I wanna say 2017 here, before we saw a massive spike in Litecoin followed by a drop and then the move up in anticipation of the next halving event. The same thing happened with the second second halving event. In fact, we actually got a drop before that, a little bit of a pump, and then the consolidation happened. From there, moves up, and then we saw the bear market, of course. This is a unique circumstance compared to earlier, but from there, consolidation and a little bit of a move up in anticipation of the next having event. Unfortunately, this leads me to believe that we could actually see a drop from this point rather than a move up. However, Based on each having event, about halfway through, maybe two years from now, that's when we're seeing absolutely exponential pumps. Now, I do want to point out this is on the logarithmic time frame. Rather than showing price, this is actually showing the change in percentage of how much Litecoin actually moved rather than the price itself. Let me switch you to the regular price right here. Boom. Either way, though, you'll notice an interesting trend. Litecoin, at least after pushing over this structure support at $27, has managed to stay above that and after we tested right here, actually, I'm going to let me raise this up a little bit right there. After we tested right here at $414, we have not managed to go above that. Each of these pumps right here and right here, again, happened about two years after the halving event. So honestly, right now could be a very interesting time to buy Litecoin in anticipation of the next couple of years. This is in contrast to Bitcoin right here who tends to see massive moves forward and then insane parabolic moves to the upside as two years happen. It looks like with Litecoin, we could actually instead, let me clear the screen for you real quick, be anticipating a move down followed by a move up about two years later. Now, since we are on the weekly time frame, what you're seeing right now is that price versus whale money flow is about in the middle of its chart. This means that whales really could move either up or down at this point. They're very, very neutral. However, you're seeing a 54% chance of a drop. This tells me we are a little tiny bit more bearish than we are bullish. And this actually supports the theory that after the halving event, we're going to drop to around this structure support 
at $27 again before seeing insane pumps, possibly as high, if not higher than $414. But again, this right here, this move, the crazy parabolic move could take as much as two years or more to happen. So right now for me, Litecoin is more of a buy and hold. We are looking slightly bearish. I think that could bring us down to structure support at $27, but that would be an insane buying opportunity for Litecoin. One thing is just about guaranteed though, after the halving event here, we are very likely to see some pretty intense volatility in the market. As that happens, you'll need indicators to guide you through it. And there's none better than the trend dashboard, TC top and bottom finder, support and resistance levels, breakout detector, price versus well money flow, and trades and favor indicators. These things absolutely crush this market. It's insane how well they work, how easily, no matter if you're a beginner or an expert, you can predict the market with these indicators. If you want to get access to all these, I know I would. You'll want to grab them at the links in the description down below. Just go ahead and scroll down, click show more, and the indicators are going to be the second link. Go ahead and click that. It'll bring you to the pro indicator page with over 4,000 downloads and counting. Now, right here, interesting point that I want to show you, the pro indicator pack has two different discount codes. You can either use the member discount for $150 off or the non-members for just $50. Now our membership is only $59 a month. And what this means is it's actually cheaper to get a membership right here and buy the indicators using this discount code than it is to buy the indicators without the membership. So sign up, links to that are in the description down below, but let me show you how to get access to these indicators. You're gonna wanna click the pro indicator pack, click I want this right here. From here, all you need to do is fill out your information, click pay, and it'll offer you the TC top and bottom finder for $400 off. Click add to cart, make sure your information is correct, click pay, and you'll be the proud owner of our state of the art indicators. After the indicators are loaded up, you're just gonna be looking for some volatility in the market as this plays out. Pay attention to the price versus wall money flow and trades in favor, especially the breakout detector, support and resistance, TC top and bottom finder, and trend dashboard to really help you navigate this volatility. With that, thanks so much for watching. Trade safe, trade confident, and I'll see you in the next video.